Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I will show you how you can create validated drop down menu in any cell of any specific column. As well as I will show you how you can uh, record the activities or how you can create the macro. Macro is basically, basically the function of Excel which uh, record your activities whatever you do on your uh, workbook and then it will convert that activities into visual basic code so in the future if you need to repeat this process these activities again so you don't need to do all these things again you need to only run the recorded macro then uh, the macro will uh, will do all those things all those activities automatically so macro is very useful to those tasks which you need to do again and again and again so it will save a lot of time as well as you can customize your recorded macro uh, as your convenience or as your need uh, so let's start but uh, before starting if you did not subscribe my channel then please subscribe subscribe my channel because I will create some useful and knowledgeable video for you to learn VBA programming so let's start there is two column first is the employee name and second is the city what I would like to do here when the user uh, will insert the city they will not be able to insert the city directly in this column they will only be able to select the values of predefined cities so let's start recording of macro for this procedure so go to developer menu and select record macro option a dialog box will be appeared you can define your macro name and shortcut key now macro recording is started so go to data menu and select data validation this dialog box will be appear just select list option from this combo box and then go to source text box and go to sheet 2 and select the range of city then click on ok now this cell has been validated but I would like to uh, the function of this cell to all other cell cells when the user uh, change the pointer selection pointer to this column to any cell just like in this cell then the validation of this cell will be appeared on current cell current uh, current uh, position of this pointer so now I will customize the existing code of macro so I stop the macro and go to macros and select my macro test macro and click on add it so this is the coding of macro which I have recorded I remove this line and I copy this line cut it from here and delete this macro because I want to run this macro only when the user will change the position of pointer on column B in only column B so I select worksheet and select the selection change event from event combo box this event will 
be triggered when the user will change the position of cursor and it has an argument target the target means the current position of pointer and it will reflect the current cell of record pointer so we can customize accordingly i paste it and uh, i define a condition if target dot column equal to 2 then and if dim l row as long l row equal to seats sheet to dot range a rows dot count dot and excel up dot row this line will get the last row of column a of sheet 2 so as well as as well as i increase my uh, cities list then it will select the last used row so uh, the newly added items will be automatically added into combo box into drop down menu and uh, just to change the this value it need to l row uh, okay it's a done now when i click on any cell of this column city column it will added the value of this column from sheet 2 as you can see okay this is the value from sheet 2 when i increase my value here okay i added these three new values now you can see the new newly added value will be added okay this is the okay as you can see newly added uh, items has been appeared in this drop down menu so you can increase your uh, city value as you want as many as you want okay now you can uh, hide this sheet so user can not change the value of city the value of uh, this list so to hide the worksheet just right click and uh, height so the list of city has been hide and the user can not see the list of city and uh, user can not change they can only select okay now if i try to enter value directly so it will give the error so user can cannot uh, enter value directly 
they can only choose from the list which you defined in uh, in worksheet 2 okay so this is the program if you not uh, subscribe my channel please subscribe my channel because i will create valuable and knowledgeable video to learn vba programming so thanks for watching please comment on my video like it share it and thanks for watching thank you very much